Good morning, you guys. I have you guys on a very sketchy setup right now. I don't know why I don't just get my tripod out, but instead I stack you on top of like a million different things and you guys could go crashing down. So I'll learn one of these days. The camera's gonna go and then it's gonna break and I'm gonna be all upset. But I am making some brownies right now. If you have brownies, the day's guaranteed to be good. We are going to have a fun pool day today for my dad's birthday. We're actually gonna be gone over his birthday. So I thought, why not have a fun little birthday party before we go? We're gonna do just a simple fun day, but it's all the things that he loves. He loves brownies, he loves being with his kids, he loves pool days, and he loves subs. So I'm gonna get subs as well. And we're just gonna have a chill, fun pool day with pool foods. I got some watermelon. The subs are gonna be ordered in like an hour. Super excited about the subs. And we're just gonna chill by the pool, relax, have fun, and eat some brownies. So I am going to pop these in the oven and then I get to go do some fun laundry. I hate doing laundry, you guys, but I need to get it done. And then I have to go out in the bakery and work on a few cakes for the weekend. And then I'm done for the day. So I'm gonna go get my work done and then I will catch up with you guys whenever the fun birthday festivities start. Now, wait a minute, what am I thinking? I wanted to show you guys something. So I think the last vlog that you guys saw is the makeover of the urus and i think i pointed out the gray side strips in that video um but they were still on the car everything else was done and fixed and beautiful but i still had that little gray accent on the bottom of the door mike ordered some fake carbon fiber pieces whenever he got like the diffuser and everything and he said why don't we just try them out and see how it goes and they actually worked amazing. You didn't have to take anything off of the car. They just go right over top. The fitment is great. It's going great and it's been amazing, but I wanna show you guys because it looks so good. There is a huge, huge difference here. The car just looks so nasty now. Like it's always looked nasty in my opinion, but now that it's all blacked out, this is the vision that I had forever. So it's amazing to see it finally come to life. Like. I am so happy about this, you guys. I can't even I can't even explain to you how happy I am. I think the glow up is officially finished. Now, of course, we're like nitpicking. Like Mike keeps pointing out to me that we could put carbon fiber inside the car where the gray accents are on the dash and stuff. I don't think that it needs that. I love the car just the way it is. This is exactly what I wanted, but of course, he keeps telling me all these fun ideas and then I'm like, well, yeah, that sounds fun, but <laughs> I think it's perfect the way it is, and this is all I wanted, so. Really happy to see it all come together, and I just wanted to show you guys the new little carbon fiber accent. All right, I gotta go get these brownies in the oven so they can bake up and be nice and fresh for when everybody gets here. The brownies are done, and normally I would just cut them up and serve them as regular brownies, but since it's a birthday party, I'm gonna write happy birthday on it with some icing. been chilling by the pool for about an hour now it's actually so nice out it's pretty hot there's a really nice breeze which keeps things a little cool whenever you're getting too hot um, the only negative is the pool is freezing like it's gonna be hard to get in today but the subs just got here so I wanted to show you guys them oh, oh my god this looks amazing and it smells so good we love Italian subs they're the best and I personally love a hard roll with sesame seeds on it. And that's what this sub is. Look at that gorgeousness. Are you kidding me, you guys? It looks so good, and listen, it's a hard roll. Oh, I love it. It smells so good, I can't wait to eat these. So I got these from a place called Hoagies, and I think the story behind them is they are so good and so popular. They have like crazy hours. They're only open certain days of the week. They're not open every day of the week, and they're open from like 11 a.m. until 1.30 p.m., and that's it. And they get bread fresh from Philly every morning, and as soon as they sell out, they're done for the day, and they typically sell out. I think that's the story behind this place. I was told that a few years ago and that's what I'm going by. 
um, and I could see why they sell out because they're absolutely incredible. So I'm gonna plate them up on a tray and then we're all gonna have a nice lunch. I can't wait to dive into these subs. Girls are gonna go for a little swim. Pigla actually already went in, and I've explained this to you guys before, but for those of you that don't know, Pigla did lots of training in the pool. You know, we got her used to it and everything, and now she can swim, which is really good, and that makes us very comfortable. But oatmeal is still pretty bad at it. She puts her legs straight out instead of doggy paddling, and she's very uncomfortable with the water. So we wanna try to get her as comfortable as possible. So I'm gonna put a life vest on, and we're gonna do a little bit of swimming lessons with her, try and get her used to the pool a little bit and hopefully teach her to swim a little bit better than what she's doing. to the rescue taking oatmeal's life vest off she, she hates it she did, real she did really good the poor no girl bulldogs frenchies but really any of the thick breeds that can't swim always have a life jacket for yes safety. i mean we're right here with them here but if they're going to be they shouldn't be unattended with water regardless because they really do sink but definitely life jackets are great piglet actually fell in the pool two years ago um our niece and nephew were over and she was playing with a ball and wanted to be a part of it and she kind of slipped when she was playing the game and she swam and it was it was great the point of this is we're just trying to get her comfortable with the water at this point in time so I don't know but you're free little girl all done with swimming lessons for the day you did good baby oh my goodness we are fat and happy aren't we pig so full that food was amazing I wish I could have 10 million more of those subs it's just the best Pigla is very tired from her big pool day. She had so much fun. I cannot believe how much she loves the pool now. It's crazy because two years ago, she definitely did not love the pool. Now oatmeal, she did very good today, but like we said, she has a lot of work to do. I think if we did it every day, obviously, things would go great, but we only do it like maybe once a month. We have not used the pool much this summer because we've been so busy. So any chance that we get, we'll put her in. But um, yeah, it, was, it wasn't a great day for her. I'm sure they are going to sleep all night long. They're absolutely exhausted. So the party was great. It was a really nice pool day. Um, I'm gonna go shower, freshen up, and then I have a couple cake deliveries tonight. And Mike just headed out and he had to go to Whitmore to do some paperwork. So still have a busy night ahead. So I'm gonna close off the vlog here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys.